Good morning. It's turned out that it hasn't, guys. It hasn't. Well, I don't know. It's kind of. Mm, do you know what I mean? I mean, if I was back home in Yorkshire, uh, I'd probably be delighted with that. I'm sure it'll get better. Do you know what it makes no odds to me? Because I don't leave the house anyway. Uh, I will be sat at my desk uh, until late afternoon. Well, um, so hope you're all right. Hope you enjoyed the week. God, do you know what, guys? I am so glad uh, the season is over. I don't know, it, seemed, it seemed to go on forever, didn't it? So I'm looking forward to next season. And do you know what? Europa League, we have to win it. That's it. I know it's not exciting. I know none of us want to watch those games. Uh, but we, you know, if we get to a final, for example, that attitude soon change. And what you're going to understand is one of the best things ever to get at your rival fans is when you have them little images. You know what I mean? And it says amount of trophies won. And then that one, you know, uh, Europa League, or whatever you want to call it these days, it'll have one more on it, hopefully. And uh, it all adds up. I, I know it's naff, but I, I swear to you, I'm really going to try and get into that competition uh, next season. Like you. I was like, Ugh. but no, I've, I've, got to, I've got to believe, and we've got to do that, guys. If we don't win it, it's failure, as far as I'm concerned. Right, um, a few things. I'll be live on here today around 2.45 p.m. UK time, a little bit earlier, 15 minutes or so earlier, maybe even half past two, I don't know, uh, because I'm going out with the boys today. Uh, so I'll only be live for an hour. So if you want to come in and chat LFC, uh, you know, have a look around 2.30, 2.45, something like that on this channel. Uh, or you can go to the main channel page and tick the bell and put all notifications and it'll it'll ping you when you go live anyway. When I go live, not when you go live. Uh, Saturday night steaming, streaming was incredible. I think, well, I know that I was still at work at six in the morning uh, following Saturday night stream because I messaged someone at <laughs> 10 past six in the morning to say good night. Uh, so uh, that's 10 past five back home. Thanks to those of you that participated and uh, Shauna, Shauna's shopping list is the funniest thing I've ever in my life. Um, well, it's one of, one of the funniest things in my life I've ever dealt with on the streams uh, and it's still on my phone and anyone that was on the stream will understand and it was incredible. Thank you, Shauna, man, you give us so many laughs, man, it's such a legend. There was one more thing. Oh, the other thing is, if you enjoy taking part with the gaming streams, uh, come along to my other YouTube channel. I'm going to be doing that most nights. Uh, I'm not a gamer, guys. It's just an opportunity to talk with you guys, open a chat room. Um, although I'm very focused and concentrating, do you know what I'm saying, to, uh, to chat all the time. But I just thought maybe I should take them away from this channel. So youtube.com forward slash Duncan Oldham. Please go over there and give me a sub if you want to participate in the other streams and watch my other videos as well, you know? Uh, I'm going to be doing a few like this, but not about football. Uh, and if you're not subbed when the stream goes live, you might not be able to uh, take part in the conversation. So, uh, Alexis McAllister. Uh, this is one of those, you know, like, let's update, let's update you about Alexis McAllister, but absolutely tell you nothing new, maybe. Um, but I do think that it's important to provide, you know, regular videos, uh, you know, opinion uh, as to as to how things are or appear is probably a better word. And you know, I think from I mean, I, I woke up to a, a couple of emails this morning, and everything sounds like it's sorted like and i think it's important to do these you know these these video updates every, you know every every weekday maybe or certainly a couple of times a week because things can change you know like one minute you can be like look at ugati i was like oh this sounds like it's gonna go and then i said it's starting to sound a bit iffy and now look where we are so i think it's important to provide um updates regarding the key subjects that are interesting us all at the moment and what i would say to you is that deal is not done, right? We've seen people say it's done. Now it depends on your definition of done, right? Because my done 
is when it's all legally binding, signed, sealed, delivered. Yeah. We've seen instances over the years at Liverpool where you would have put your, your house or your life on a couple of things like the signing of Lee Boyer, for example, at Melwood, shaking Gerard Ullier's hand on the deal for him to come to Liverpool. But then there was the backlash that followed that, you know, and it did not happen. It was not, it was not done, but many people would have said, well, it's obviously it's done, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Uh, Nabil Fakir as well, another one. All, all the, you know, the, the PR stuff and guff around it all, all done, but it wasn't done. So we have to be cautious. Now, when anyone I trust says to me it's done, I know it's done. <laughs> I'm sick of saying that now, done, done, undone. Um, but do you know what I mean? And no one's saying that. And the latest email that I, uh, information I woke up to, to this morning uh, is that almost everything is in place, but there's still the almost, uh, the use of that word, almost everything, not everything is in place. And I, I, I don't think there's going to be a problem with this, and I'm sure you don't either. But I'm, you know, I'm very experienced with these guys, and as far as I'm concerned, I'm just gonna chill and wait and see what happens. And there are other things, you know, I, 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 I have got stacks of videos, topics that I would like to talk to you about in relation to um, to potential transfers. But I just don't know if I'm gonna have time today to do that. Um, but I think the important one is this one. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stand here and waffle on for too long. Um, I want to get to my desk because I know that I've got some things to look at for you. Of which I've not been up long, so it's only a cup of tea. And I know you like my videos where we're just you know, having an informal chat. Um, but yeah, without speculating about. I don't think we need to go through over the contents of that email, really. Um, but everyone seems fairly relaxed that's involved in the process of, of, uh, of trying to complete that signing. And now that the season's finished, I expect that we'll start to see some proper stuff now, especially in the next fortnight. Um, and there's, there's one of the telltale signs, if you like, just from using common sense and... Uh, and knowing a little bit about how these things work and how the media work is right for example we have these so-called twitter itks that just retweet or not retweet um post the, <clears throat> you can tell i'm so asleep that tweet claims every day all day long right and then you've got the newspapers if you like the tabloids in england that are just as bad really are doing the same thing because the, at the end of the day both of those separate categories that the itks the uh the media the tabloids they need traction they need people they need people to be reading and reading and keep them there which is why every day you have people like fabrizio romano fabrizio romano mo salah him all right constantly adding like he, he tweets about McAllister every day but just the same stuff but in a different order do you know what I mean? Like, if it's two or three sentences in a tweet, he just reshuffles them and sends them again. He's not misleading anyone. Uh, he's just keeping himself out there, you know, and newspapers have to do that to, to, to make revenue in a very difficult industry today. Uh, and obviously then you have your ITKs that want to get as many people as possible following them so that they click on their betting links and, and, and you know, affiliations to club merch and stuff like that. So... They're always doing all that, right? And then you have the more credible people that you might listen to. And I always think the more credible people are usually silent. You know, they don't need to like come on and uh, out there on social media and and continually repeat themselves. Like Paul Joyce, for example, you know, I'm not saying that you believe every single thing he says, because I do think there is friendships there uh, where he might help someone at the club the group, as Rafa would say, <laughs> for sure, that you know how the relationships work between these people, right? Yeah, we discussed that. So there will be times when Joyce uh, and maybe another 
or two uh, might do something to help the club to get a message out there. I'm not saying they would deliberately lie, but I just think that that's what happens. I don't even think. I know that's what happens. But Joyce, I think, is someone that, you know, most of us would like, are inter well, all of us surely are interested in what he's got to say, but you don't see him coming out every single day of the week telling you, he doesn't need to, you know, he'll come out and tell you something when it needs saying. And I try and do that with my videos as well, believe it or not. Like I could make dozens of videos every day and, and write dozens of news articles every day that would, you know, especially on the website, if I was putting article after article after article out about the, my, you know, like the most minute detail or change in something or, every single player that's linked with us even you know but if i'm like thinking that's not really interesting or that's just guff there's no point in doing it however if i did it it would greatly improve my revenue right but that's not what it's about to me i i would rather be like no i'll speak when there's something i think is worth talking about yes you do need to provide ongoing updates i think with some things uh, but you won't see an article on cop talk posted about uh, McAllister every day of the week or something so what I was going to say was so you've got the ITKs you've got the tabloids that they're just churning guff out all the time regurgitated stuff and then you have the more credible ones that crop up when they've got something to tell you but you aren't really seeing a lot of speculation from the credible ones ignore the ITKs they're going to say anything to get, grab your attention right but the people that I would look at in the media or the people that, you know, maybe, you know, want to talk about club things and that. They're not really, they're not, and not just Liverpool Football Club, but people that were in the, the football industry, in the media. They're not really writing or saying many things about McAllister at the moment, which suggests to me that the agent, and if you want to extend the agent to family or that, you know, let's call it the, the McAllister camp. There's nothing really being put out there by them, is there? Because you're not seeing stuff in, in the media that's worth paying attention to. Please don't confuse it with ongoing updates from people in the media or on Twitter uh, that are just wanting to tell you something about him all the time or suggest that he might go to Manchester United or Manchester City. You don't listen to them. I'm talking about the credible people and they're not really saying it. I think last week we had maybe McAllister linked with City or United, a suggestion like that. But... What I'm trying to say is there's not a lot of noise surrounding McAllister at the moment, credible noise, which to me suggests that the agent, the camp uh, that represents the player that looks after his interests are happy with what's happening or happened. So that you're not seeing the agent going out there trying to go, we need to put a bit of pressure on Liverpool with this, we need to get a bit more money. So, you know, and then they will go to, uh, you know, their, their contacts in the media, if you like, Romano, right, him, for example, and we'll say, uh, you know, we, we do us a favour, we need this pushing out, right? And the, these high hitters do that because they know then they've got a good friendship with the agent and the agent owes them one in the future. So when that deal is done, for example, um, I mean done done, then he might tell Romano that, that, you know, first, because he'll say, well, you helped us secure a better deal or whatever. That's how it basically works. I don't think I'm doing a good job of explaining myself. What I'm trying to say is, if things were going wrong at the moment with regards to our interest in McAllister, then I think you'd be reading new stuff each day and you'd be very nervous and you'd be going, oh, what's going on? Why am I reading about McAllister to Arsenal? You know, and then why am I seeing it every day? Romano's tweeting about every day that, you know, that Chelsea have come in for him or whatever. And we're not seeing that. So to me, and we're only basing this on like, maybe a bit of common sense. I do have some, uh, an experience is that it's quiet, so everything's happy. Everyone's happy. Does that make sense? So the McAllister camp may be happy, but it doesn't mean he's going to Liverpool. It could be, it could be because they're happy he's got a deal to go to Man City, right? But on the other hand, if you look at the click, they're not really suggesting any, any panicky alarm bells to do with it. Does that make sense? So then therefore, to me, I think, yeah, it's going ahead. Because if, I'm sure you understand what I mean. It's too early, really. Um, his camp are happy with the current situation, which is why you're not seeing any suggestions or anything else. It has to be Liverpool because the Liverpool clique and the journalists either in that clique or above that clique that we trust are not suggesting a problem 
so everyone's happy that means the agent's not having to play games out there and play it out and Liverpool Football Club they're not saying we need you to get this out do you know what I mean guys I think I've explained it so it's all it's good I think it's good and I think that's what to me says everything is okay and that's backed up by something I received this morning that was it explained a few finer details but I can tell you right now it is not done at this present time but let's hope it is I hope that makes sense I don't know if I've done a good job of explaining that or not to be honest Ooh, and the sun's out. Hey, it's turned out nice again. Motherfucker, it's out. That's it. There we go. It's on. So, I'll see you on here this afternoon uh, around 2.30, 2.45 UK. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And uh, please subscribe to youtube.com forward slash Duncan Oden if you want to watch my other, um, you know, my other streams. And my other videos are going to be like this, but about other things away from football. Because I, I, I like having an atto when I'm having a cup of tea. And, uh, you know, the transfers, you know, the transfer window is about to open, but the football season's over, thank God. And, um, you know, if you like to uh, to hang out with me, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be doing some stuff over there as well. Uh, if you like this video, please thumbs up, drop me a comment. And if you really like this video, you can hit that love heart button i don't like the love heart button it's my new favorite thing i think that's been there for years and i never knew about it <laughs> i honestly don't know how it all works i just hit record and pray okay so in summary the McAllister thing sounds like it's going all, all, all right people involved were one of them involved in that process that would actually know about certain finer details tells me everything's chilled done but it isn't done yet all right so keep the faith let's see and i hate putting a little cautionary note on the end but never say you know never say never when it comes to deals but also don't assume that everything you know because i've seen transfers just collapse like that you know what i mean so but i'm upbeat i'm good hope you had a great weekend uh and I look forward to uh, to providing plenty of content for you throughout the week. All right, guys.